This bill establishes a new agency in the executive branch of the government that's headed by Health Choices Commissioner. Is that correct? That's correct. And how do you get to be the commissioner? You're appointed by the president, like the Social Security Commissioner is appointed today. Is that subject to confirmation by the Senate? Yes. Are there any qualifications on the person? Like, do they have to have experience in health care? Do they have to be a doctor? Um, I'd have to double check on the qualifications, but I assume they would assume that it's somebody who is qualified to run an agency dealing with these issues. The agency has responsibility for federal health insurance oversight, for coordinating and working with the state insurance agencies, and also has responsibility for running the health insurance exchange. But then they have to have necessarily medical experience, according to this bill. Is that they true? They have to have experience. They can have medical experience. They can have other experience as well. Is it true that Section 142 establishes the commissioner as the administrator of the individual affordability credits, credits that CBO scores at over $700 billion? The, the Health Choices um, Commissioner is responsible for um, operating the exchange and the exchanges where the affordability credit determinations are made in conjunction with state Medicaid offices and other agencies. So the commissioner, who is an unelected federal employee, is in charge of overseeing $700 billion. Is that true? Um, yes. Does this uh, section also give the commissioner the authority to determine an individual's eligibility for those credits that are worth over $700 billion? Yes. Yes, they are. And how many other unilateral decisions does this legislation give to the commissioner, a single unelected individual? I think it gives comparable authority that's given today to the executive branch agencies that run multi-hundred billion dollar health programs. Well, my staff lost count at over a hundred. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman.